How you doing? <clears throat> Can you hear me? Is this thing on? Okay. How's it going, everybody? Uh, yeah. It's what's funny is uh, is every time before I before I start the um, start the stream up, I actually I always forget because I'm always listening to to music uh, to kind of gear up and sort of get get myself sort of psyched and in the zone and everything. And it's always like '90s music, and I keep getting more and more obscure. But I'm telling you, like. Every time I do this, I sort of slip further into like '90s mode. I'm telling you, you guys are like, you're like one Pearl Jam song away from just seeing me go full like grunge. Uh, it's gonna happen one of these days. It's just gonna be flannel and bad hair, which is gonna be a real trick because. I buzzed my head. So anyway, I uh, hope everybody's doing very well tonight. Uh, we're going to do something a little different. Uh, I, I don't know if you watch uh, Star Wars: The Clone Wars, but there's a I have a I have a I have a deep love of this show. Uh, it was a show that came on Cartoon Network starting in 2000, blah, 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 uh, whenever it was, and. Um, they they released like they had like a movie they had a like a theatrical release of the Clone Wars uh, before the series started and uh, and it it didn't it was kind of cool but my first reaction because I saw it in the theater my first reaction was who is this kid it's like they added I think I called her like Miley Cyrus Jedi Knight I, I was like why on earth this is just the most ridiculous thing uh, I was not a f- I was not a fan of little uh, snips uh, AKA Ahsoka Tano, uh, who is, um, if you're not familiar, if you don't watch Clone Wars, uh, Ahsoka Tano was this character they introduced in Clone Wars who was the Padawan, the apprentice of Anakin Skywalker, um, the unknown apprentice uh, during the the period that's set, you know, between Attack of the Clones and Revenge of the Sith, she was learning from Anakin. Uh, and it, it sounded pretty like, uh, well, whatever. And especially once you see her and she's all quirky and sort of, you know, I'm funny and I'm a tiny little kid character. Um, and, uh, the amazing thing is, and I'm, this is not an exaggeration throughout the course of the series. She goes from those first few episodes think, you know, me thinking like, this is, this is really kind of a silly character, but I, but I stuck with it to literally being I'm not sure that she's my favorite character, but she's way up there. Like she's, she is the best, she's the best character in Star Wars that was not in the original three movies. And I know that's saying, I mean, that may sound like I'm, you know, sort of exaggerating, but I'm not. It's, it's just really, really, uh, brilliantly written. Um, such a great, such a great show. Um, and it, it goes from being kind of, kind of, um, kind of a show for kids in the beginning. I mean, it's always for kids, you know, it's for all ages, but it's a little more sort of kiddie when it starts out. But as it goes on, by the time you get to the end, I mean, it's it's just beautiful episodes, just kind of heartbreaking and really good Star Wars. Uh, so I'm really excited. They've got the, the what they're calling the final season. Um, and uh, I don't want to spoil any of it for you uh, in case you haven't seen it, but trust me, it's worth it. Like, like watching the clone wars on Disney plus is, is very much worth it. Um, watch it with your kids. I mean, because they're going to love it and you're going to love it. And it's very star Wars. And the, the one character that I want to see most, um, in, in a, in a live action star Wars movie. And I've heard that like Rosario Dawson is either rumored for the role or that she really wants the role, and I am very good with that. I think she would be a great choice, but I want to see Ahsoka Tano. I want a, I want an Ahsoka Tano movie. She's very cool. So, uh, But we're also going to do something a little different tonight, I think, on the live stream. Wow, look at the... Let me tell you something, folks. If you want to have the worst possible lighting... Uh, go with this scheme where you got a dark room and you're being lit from below by a bluish whitish light. It's wonderful. Uh, I look like Nosferatu. Uh, so, so, okay. Yeah. We're, we're going to do something a little different and I apologize by the way. I'm all like, like, uh, Oh, I'm telling you, my allergies are just killing me right now. Um, so if I actually explode, um, just grab the, grab the kids and run. Um, uh, I may sneeze on you. Sorry, YouTube. Um, they're going to copyright strike my sneeze. Um, 
But uh, we're going to do something a little different tonight. I'm, I'm going to call this, and I need I should have put a graphic up when I say this, so it's dramatic and it's got a thing. But I'm going to do what I would call Vector Vins Days, uh, which instead of doing the, uh, the, the more traditional comic art like, I, like I've been doing, uh, where it's you know uh, sort of a pencil layer and then, and then just inks and then kind of that comic book style, what I'm going to do instead is, uh, is we're going to do, we're going to do this. Uh, I've got an outline here in pencil that I'm going to kind of follow. But um, I'm going to do a vector drawing. So I'm going to only use the, the, the vector brush uh, in, in fresco, uh, which is, it's subtle sometimes, but it gives a little bit of a different look. And plus, you know, when you think of vector art, you think of something that's kind of cleaner and a little bit more technical looking. Um, and so I thought that would be kind of fun. Hang on, got to refuel. This is a vital component to my own. Relax, it's diet. Okay, which is probably not good for me either, but I don't care. It's good. All right, so uh, to start off with, like I was saying, I've kind of pre, pre-started pre here because uh, I've just found that works a little bit better when I'm going to be live streaming. Um, uh, it sort of saves a little bit of time. We can get, get there a little bit faster because I am going to do my best to try to live stream one hour tonight. We're going to see how we do. We'll fail. You know we'll fail. Um, so anyway, um, I'm going by reference here that I've got that's kind of uh, older Ahsoka because Ahsoka appeared in the Clone Wars uh, where she was pretty young. And she and you see her grow up uh, quite a bit over the course of the season. That was one of the great things about the show is that it really showed, it really showed character development. Uh, like she, she really becomes a great character, like a, like a, a really strong, really, um, well-defined character uh, who, and what they really managed to nail was that she was almost like the perfect sort of apprentice that somebody like Anakin would have. Like it was, she was very, she was equally headstrong and it's kind of implied that, that, uh, it's kind of implied that that was why she was chosen for Anakin was because she was kind of, she was kind of, um, kind of a match for him. She was also kind of a handful the way the way Anakin was. Um, so yeah, just making some outlines here. But yeah, and and for a, well, like I was saying, you get you see her sort of at different ages because you see her in. Um, you see her in Clone Wars as a as a child, more or less. Oh, I did not call you, Siri. No, bad Siri. Um, you see her in Clone Wars. What I didn't I didn't say what? No, stop. What? I'm... It's like having a pet sometimes, a very very smart pet that can order things for you. It's kind of weird. So. Um, uh, you see her in Clone Wars, and then you see her in um, the net, the 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 animated show that came after Clone Wars, which was Rebels, which was set uh, right. It was it was basically like the Rogue One period, where it's set right before uh, A New Hope. Um, and then I feel this is kind of I feel like I'm kind of what's going on here. I feel like I'm a little bit crooked somehow. Did I, that, how'd that happen? Ah, well, I'm not going to worry about it. We'll fix it in post. Um, and uh, Rebels was a pretty good show. I don't think it w- Whoa, what was it? Holy cow. Um, I don't think it was quite... It wasn't quite as good for me as um, um, the Clone Wars, but Rebels was good. It's it's worth watching. Also on on Disney Plus, so it's it's worth checking if you got the. And let's face it, everybody's got Disney Plus, so watch that. Uh, it's pretty cool. But watch Clone Wars first. It's awesome. Uh, and then I don't think she appears in uh, then the the animated show they did after Clone War, or after Rebels was uh, Resistance, which I didn't really watch, uh, and I don't know anyone who did. Um, but. Um, it was just weird. I, I tried to like, I watched like a couple episodes of it and I was like, I, I don't understand this. This is bizarre. Okay. Let's back up. See how it looks. She maybe looks a little mad. I don't think I really like her to look quite so mad. So, all right. Oh, there we go. Oh, there it is. Hang on there. All right. 
Um, Ahsoka, if you're not familiar with your Star Wars alien species, uh, is a Tegruda. And uh, we met another couple of Tegrudas over the course of Star. Well, but I don't think you really. I don't, I don't think if you're just if you just know the movies, I don't know that you'd recognize a Tegruda, um, because. Uh, oh come on, does not recognize your face. That's pretty bad. Um, a Tegruda, they they have these like they have these big horns that come off the top of their head, sort of like this. And the, but I, I think the only Tegruda that you would have seen uh, if you were watching if you were watching the the movies was in the prequels. There was a there was a Tegruda Jedi Master uh, on the council uh, called uh, Shakti. It was always it was very cool looking, and it's it's like I think in the case of Shakti, she was like older, and the older they get, the bigger they're sort of they're, they've got these horns, and then they've got like these these like tendrils that come down. Um, so when you see uh, Ahsoka as a little kid in the first uh, few seasons of um, Clone Wars, like her her like tendrils, I think they're called montrals or whatever, uh, and her like the horns on the top of her head are pretty small, so it's just almost like framing her face. But as she gets older. They get more and more sort of elaborate, um, but uh, yeah. So again, tonight we're going to be doing we're going to be doing a vector drawing. Now it's starting obviously pretty much the same way um, like any other like comic drawing is uh, starts for me. Uh, but uh, you know, I'm I'm doing some pencils here, just penciling things in, uh, trying to trying to figure out what the drawing is going to look like. But this time, instead of switching to a sort of sketchier, uh, to a sort of sketchier pen, uh, I'm going to use a vector brush, and um, the result is going to be that a vector drawing is is going to be cleaner. It's going to be a little bit more technical looking. Um, it's going to it's not uh, not going to look like a like a typical sort of old school. Um, comic book the way I usually do uh, and instead will be uh, sort of like a sticker which incidentally I have had a few people now uh, suggest that I uh, take some of the stuff that I've been doing and I think the vector stuff in particular uh, is would be good for this and uh, and making some stickers, so I'm going to have to do that. I am currently working on a website. Right now, I, the website isn't up yet. I've got the site, and I'm building it, and it's just turning into kind of a it's turning into kind of a slog. Am I even talking into the mic? There we go. Um, and uh, yeah, it's it's that that's really appealing to me. I love the idea of making of making stickers for you guys, like sticker packs, maybe. Uh, and uh, I've had that suggested a couple of times now, and usually if you get, you know, more than two or three suggestions for a particular thing, um, then, you know, it's a, it's a safe bet that I um, should probably give it, a, give it a consideration there. Okay, so yeah, she's a Tegruda, and she's really cool. She, uh, she wields two lightsabers because she's awesome. Um. Yeah, this is where my th my brain's having to do its thinky bits, because um, this is her. Uh, all of the stuff up here gets a little bit complicated. I want it to be sort of accurate. And she's got all these like cool face. I don't know if they're uh, like I've always wondered. Like I don't think they're tattoos because they change over time. I think they're like um, it's like it's like the patterning, you know, sort of her species has these, these cool patterns, these like geometric patterns. All right. So I'm not doing obviously I'm not doing the super young I'm not doing like really Clone Wars Ahsoka or certainly not early Clone Wars ah Ahsoka. I'm sort of doing she's probably. I don't know, this is probably, 
maybe 20 year old Ahsoka. All right. Let's see here. May have to readjust a little bit. Because I think maybe I need a little more room. Whoa, what happened? I don't know what's going on. Oh, there we go. Oh, I panicked for a second. That was going to be bad. Uh, what is going on here? Oh, oh, no wonder. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Keep tapping the wrong button. A little bit of an adjustment. Okay, so she's got a diamond thing right there, and those come down like this, and then she's got some things right there. And she's got these things that sort of come down and they make a thing on her face. Okay. And okay. I think what, what was kind of interesting to me about Ahsoka was um and and this this I, I think is always a, a good um, a good sign. Uh, number one, if you're familiar with um, if you're familiar with the Mandalorian, and let's face it, the Mandalorian. I mean, if you're a Star Wars fan, you probably really dig the Mandalorian. Um, everybody seems. To, I mean, it's universally cool. Uh, which for Star Wars, is pretty good these days because um, the movies not so much universally beloved. Uh, that's neither here nor there for this show. But um, but definitely not as it's it's they are not without their their detractors and their uh, supporters and et cetera et cetera. Um, but uh, but the Mandalorian, on the other hand, is fantastic. Like you're not you're not hearing a lot of people really saying like oh I didn't like it very much because it's I mean it's it's very cool. Um, sorry, doing my thinky bits here while I'm looking at where this stuff goes. I'm doing a little bit of my own take on it. I'm kind of making it a little bit more elaborate uh, just for the sake of the drawing. Because again, never let accuracy get in the way of a good composition. Um, so, yeah, that's looking pretty cool. May have to fix, uh, sort of, make her eyes a little bit more symmetrical here. As a matter of fact, uh, here's a good. This is, since we're doing some uh, some like vector art here, uh, I want to make this a little. Uh, usually, I am perfectly cool with like asymmetries and making things, making things. Uh, you know, they don't. It doesn't have to be perfect because it gives it a little bit of life and it kind of makes it. You know, makes it more interesting. Uh, but in this case, because we are doing uh, vector vector art, I kind of want it to be a little more symmetrical. So what I am going to do? Let me see. How can I do this? Uh, forget. I don't. I don't use this that often, so I kind of have to think for a second. Um, copy selection. Okay, and paste selection, and she's got a bunch of eyes going on. Woohoo! All right, flip that over. Okay, I'm gonna put that right about in there. Now I need to go down here and get rid of that for a second. All right, gonna go down here and erase. And R, she be pirate Ahsoka. Um. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. A little bit right there. This is the kind of stuff that will just murder me. Because I'll sit here and I'll do it forever. That looks, that looks all right. There we go. And merge down. All right. Get rid of that layer that I made accidentally. Okay, I'm doing my best not to like sniffle and sneeze in your and you guys uh, in your face here. 
Okay, so just finding some more of the detail. Okay, there we go. Anything, anything, anything. All right, that is looking like a Jedi. Refuel. All right. So now, okay, now we're going to switch to the to the to the actual vector part of the vector drawing, and the way I'm going to do that is the same way I do my normal sort of sort of comic book work, uh, which you know I've got my pencils here. This is telling me where everything is. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower the opacity here, and this is kind of like you know you've seen people that use, um, you know, it's an old school trick that people have used forever, uh, like a light, a, uh, you know, a, a light desk or a light box or a light board or a light plank or a light square or a light pizza box or you know what I'm saying um, so it's kind of like that you just lower it down because this is this is going to be sort of my guide layer this is going to tell me where my lines are actually going to go so I create a new layer and then over here I'm using the vector brush and I'm going to select my favorite ve vector brush which is basic flat because I'm super basic what can I say all right so from here on out all I'm going to sort of focus on doing is I'm just going to focus on finding the outlines because it's a vector drawing, which means that that it needs to be, you know, I, I'm really I'm wanting crisp lines. It's not my usual sort of oh, there's a little line here and a little thing here and doo ba doo ba doo ba doo ba doo, and cross hatching and all that. These are this is simple lines, and it's going to get more complicated as we go on. And I'll be frank with you, a lot of times with it, with this kind of vector art, it it, it it's going to seem on the surface like well, there's just not as much. There's, you know, there's not as much life to it, or it's, oh, it's just kind of, it's a little too technical. I mean, I know there are people that that uh, um, aren't real fans of this kind of, anyway. Um, but the the art comes after you sort of define those lines, and after you sort of figure out sort of where the, the shapes are going to be, and then, then it becomes a playground. All right, so, as always, I start with the eyes. I don't know why. I don't make the rules. That's just how it goes. And here and here, there we go. That looks like an eyeball. And I can already tell you that probably what we're going to do uh, in order to save time is I'm going to do one eye, and then I am just going to copy and uh, and paste uh, because I want this to be a little more accurate than than usual. So, all right. Doing my thinky bits, thinky, thinky, thinky. All right, maybe a line up here and a thing. All right, okay. Now you can see what I mean. It's it's kind of a it's a much simpler line. It almost looks a little coloring booky. Uh, that will change, I can guarantee you. All right. Okay. So I'm going to duplicate that. And then here I'm going to transform it by flipping it. Drag it over, drop it right about. Yeah. Okay, it's still, I know that it's not exactly symmetrical if I do that but it just kind of looks right to me. There we go. All right. So I'm going to merge that down so that's now on one layer instead of two. Go down here and start to find Ahsoka's nose. How are we doing on time? How are we doing on time? Oh my gosh, it's not even it's not even 30 minutes in. We might actually make it to an hour. It might only be an hour tonight, you guys. Holy cow. Go figure. All right. Okay. Here we go. Jason Swift in the ch Jason Swift. Is that 
the Jason Swift. There's a little bit of a delay, so incidentally, if I'm not seeing your your comments immediately, uh, how you doing, buddy? Okay, let me see. I've got to got to sort of figure out how this is going to look here. It's not too bad, not too bad, not too bad at all. All right, I think this is the line I'm not digging right here. I may think of a so slightly different way of handling that. Oh, hey, Swifty, good to good to see you in there, man. Hope you've been all right. Uh, there's a uh, there's a delay um, on the uh, the video feed, so so if I'm like like if I'm like a minute from responding to you, that's why. Okay, here we go, and I can't draw anatomy, I don't know how things fit together. All right, hang on, I'm going to move um, move her mouth up a little bit. I feel like I made it a little low. I also made it a little crooked because I don't understand anatomy. I'm doing great, Swifty. I'm doing good, man. Uh, doing this nonsense now. For some reason. There we go. That looks about right. Okay. All right. So deselect. Okay. Give her a little bit of that shadow down here. There we go. All right. Here we go. And a thing. Um, all right. Now I can already I can already sort of tell that I'm gonna I think I know how I'm gonna handle the color on this and and sometimes you never really know until you get into it it's like it's like you sort of generally know where it's gonna go but not quite that's okay I, I'm a big believer that it's very possible to overplan when it comes to uh, when it comes to this kind of stuff um, but it also becomes a matter of knowing when to quit. Um, so like like how much detail do you want? How thick do you want the lines to be? How much shading do you want? How much shading do you want to be illustrated with a black line, you know, through lines and hatching and how much of it do you want it to be like um like color? All right. Not bad. Not bad. I'll take it. All right, so I'm looking at my reference here, and I gotta do her like tiara thing. I don't think it's a part of her head because it's different all the time. Um, and then uh, like so, and then like this right here and there, and then this is gonna come down like that, and then this was gonna do like that, and uh, I've left a gap. All right, so here and there. I don't guess they have a lot of hats, the Togruta. Um, or maybe they do have hats. Maybe their hat. Maybe like a Togruta hat is like, is like, hello. There, it just like sits, like between the. I don't know. They have like little stovepipe hats, but they're not really like what we. They're just almost like they just like perch between the between the horns. Uh, I got to tell you, there is something deeply satisfying about doing uh, art with a vector brush like this. Uh, it's so, like, liquid. And uh, you can go from, like, thick to thin, and it's just really weirdly satisfying. Now, one of the things also that, you, that I tend to do when, I, um, when I'm doing uh, a vector drawing like this where I want it to be clean, and I want the and I want the uh, 
Yes, very big hat. Yeah, they've got like uh, they've got great big great big park ranger hats. Just sort of yeah, uh, <laughs> very big hats. Yes. Um, but uh, one of the one of the things that I do with the vector brush is in Fresco you have this ability to you've got all these settings for the brushes, and this setting that I've got right here. Uh, you can see it sort of on the main screen on the display there is uh, smoothing and I tend to keep the smoothing on the vector brushes turned up a little bit and the the reason for that is because as, you, as you'll notice what's happening and it's kind of difficult to see because you got to kind of look in two places at once on the stream but um, rather than where my pen stroke is when I put the pencil down uh, as I trace along rather than it being inked directly under the pen it's like there's a delay it's like it's like if you can imagine it's almost like uh it's almost like i am pulling the pen ink pulling the ink like it's on an elastic band so it's it's behind my pen a little bit and that smooths out the lines because i want them to be smoother i want them to be a little bit more technical and a little bit less hand drawn um, and a lot of times if I'm doing, if, when I'm working on, uh, like sort of the regular bread and butter comic book art, uh, I don't use the smoothing because I want it to be a little, you know, I want it to be a little sort of, um, all right. So I think we're, I think we're actually, yeah, that's actually pretty darn good. I think we are almost ready. Start knocking in some color here. Now, um, this is going to work a little differently uh, than how you've seen me do um, how you've seen me do this in the past. Um, because here, I am just going to sort of I'm just going to sort of block in the color directly into the vector art. All right, so that looks pretty good. Ahsoka Tano, that's a Jedi right there. Uh oh, hang on. Um, computer. Um, Diet Mountain Dew, hot. Well, not actually cold, actually. And then you imagine the replicator over here. And then, oh, here it is. Oh, look at that. Thank you, computer. They never thank the computer in Star Trek. That just seems rude. Because, I mean, it seems like the computer's pretty smart. Oh, sorry. Okay, so the way I'm going to do this is, for one thing, I don't need the, the guide layer anymore, so I'm going to get rid of it, at least for now, like so. And uh, should I do this whole thing? Like, what do they call Let me see. What do they call that? ASMR, where it's like sounds, where it's like really gentle sounds. Should I do this? No. Okay. Um. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna come back to that pencil layer later because I've got the there's like the stripy bits on her on her head stuff. Uh, but what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna duplicate the vector lines that I just did, and I'm gonna leave. So I've got two copies of, of this this same line art here, uh, and I'm gonna leave one of them on top, and I'm just gonna work on the other one. And partially that's because it's a really quick way to work non destructively where I don't have to worry about, I, I like where I've got my line art here, so I don't have to worry about destroying it. Um, yeah. And um, um, I can still sort of color things in. So, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with sort of large areas first. And let's see. Okay, now her skin is an unusual shade. It's very cool. It's almost like this golden... It's almost orange. All right, so there we go. Uh, and then her her sort of all of her head stuff is uh, is actually white, but usually for something like this, you don't actually do white. You kind of make it off white. So right about there. Okay. And then I'm going to shade in her eyes. And it's the same thing. I'm not going to make it actually white. They're going to be kind of off-white. And then the inside of her eyes are blue, but they're this awesome, almost like violet kind of blue. So. Oh. 
Did not mean to do that. There we go. Come on. There we go. And actually, because I've got two different areas here, I think I'm going to do sort of two slightly different shades. See, I didn't accidentally kill Okay, no, I'm good. All right, right there. All right, that's looking like Ahsoka Tano. She's really cool. All right. So, going to sort of color in her lips a little bit, which they're kind of dark. Whoa. Oh, I left a gap. There we go. Okay, easily fixed. Just got to go in and do that. Do that. And there. All right. Now, uh, I'm going to color... I don't want to connect those lines because it's, it's a little weird. It'll make her look... It'll make it look like her like lips are a little cartoony, and I don't really want cartoony. Uh, so I'm going to use that same color, and I'm not going to fill it in. I'm just going to kind of make a line here. And I, and I don't have to worry about when I make when I just make lines like this, or you know when I'm just sort of painting in, I don't have to worry about it going over the areas of uh, black line like the outline, because um, I've I've got two copies of the black outline and so one of them's on top and and I can sort of paint over the one underneath and you're not going to notice. All righty then, I think that is looking all right. Okay, now her little headdress thing here needs some love. So it's kind of kind of a brownish area right there and right there and right here and right here. And then that part is kind of this grayish blue right here and right there. And then this part uh so like a lighter color, so I'm just going to paint that in. Like so. Whoa. And do. There we go. Oh, see, I've got a little area over here I probably ought to do something with. Just a little detail. There we go. All right. Looking like a Sokotano, but it looks like she hadn't put her face on yet. All right. Oh, wow. It's weird in the preview because it, like, lightens up the... So it looks like she, her face is, like, neon highlighter color all right so i'll tell you what i'm gonna do i'm actually gonna focus on her face for now and she's got those sort of stripy bits that are all on her her head situation and uh but i'm gonna focus on her face for now because i she's creepy looking at me without any of her stripy bits uh and i think i think we need to add her stripy bits so they're white but I'm going to do them slightly off-white, sort of a warm white. And I think I'm going to go ahead and do these on a separate layer so that if I screw them up, I can redo them. Because I'm going to eyeball them a little bit here. Oh, I can't draw. There we go. Keep forgetting to change my tool. All right, so... And I'm uh, I'm definitely going to stylize these a little bit to kind of fit my drawing, because uh, this is kind of my take on Ahsoka, um, rather than being a perfectly, perfectly, um, I have words, perfectly faithful. There we go. So there is a stripy bit. It's coming down like that, and then it goes up here and disappears. All right. So, but as I was saying, like Clone Wars, my favorite episode of Clone Wars, and I've, and I've got a lot of favorite episodes. I mean, it's, it is a great show. I mean, just no two ways about it. It's a great show. Um, but I think my favorite episode is, um, it's called Landing at Point Rain. And it's um, an assault on a droid factory on Geonosis. And um, it's a whole bunch of clones, like a clone army, 
and it's being led by Anakin and Obi-Wan and uh, Kiati Mundi. He's the dude who's got the great big head. And um, <laughs> that describes an awful lot of Star Wars characters, I know. Um, but uh, And then Ahsoka is with him. Oh, and uh, I think uh, I don't think she's in this episode, but in the follow-up episode, it also has Luminara Unduli, who's a really cool Jedi Master. She's awesome. Um, there we go. Let me see. I want to make sure I get this right so my mouth can't be moving while I'm thinking. All right. Yep, that looks about like a thing. Oh. There we go. Okay, I may need to adjust here a little bit for sort of composition's sake. Um, but uh, landing at point rain is just, it is just a, it's like just a war story. It's just a, uh, a story of, you know, those characters and their armies you know their their troops uh trying to trying to take out this droid factory and um it's 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 surprisingly well executed for like a family accessible TV show it's really it's amazing um because it's it's um you know you you get a real sense of like the drama of uh of the war and uh, in a way that you really just didn't get, even in the like like in the prequel movies, you don't really get a lot of scenes of the real war, and uh, you sure do in this particular episode of Clone Wars. Um, it is outstanding. Okay, not too bad. I kind of think I want it to come down. Sort of again. I'm sort of doing my own thing here, but I kind of like that. Yeah, there we go. There it is. There she blows right there. All right. Okay. Right. Okay, that's looking pretty good. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm, I don't know how well this is going to work because, again, I, I didn't draw this. Uh, it's not perfect symmetry, but I'm willing to bet it's going to be close enough to kind of work here. I'm going to duplicate the the layer of her her, her facey bits there, and um, then I'm going to transform them, flip them, and see how close I can get to just dropping them in. Oh, that's going to look pretty good. That's going to work, I think, with a little bit of adjustment. Just a little bit. Okay, looking at the monitor here to kind of see. Yeah, I think that's going to do it. So I'm going to have to adjust a little bit, but um, as a matter of fact, let me drag it over here a little bit more. I don't mind if it's not perfect. Uh, as the great Bob Ross would say, it's just, it's my, it's my world. It's my little world. No mistakes. Actually, a lot of freaking mistakes, but, um, but that's okay, because you can correct them. Alright. Looking pretty good, I think. Yep, that's an Ahsoka. That is an Ahsoka Tano. All right. Okay, now I need to merge those two layers, so now I don't have them on two separate layers. I've got both sides of her facey bits um, on one layer. 
All right, all righty, all right. Let's see here. Oh, okay. So I've got I've got a little bit I got to do up here, and then also I'm missing a bit. It looks like there's a little extra, little extra mm, right there, and also a little brr, brr, right there. Okay, that's all right. Hey, look at that. That's an Ahsoka Tato. That's Jedi. Um. Right. Okay, now I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start working on the, the, the stripey bits on her thing. Um, and you know what's really sad is I'm actually just saying, like, it's the thing because I don't want to reveal how much of a nerd I actually am and I actually know what those are called. Um, uh, those are mantras. I know. Might as well be proud of my nerdity. Okay, not bad, not bad, not bad. All right, so I'm going to create a new layer. Tree Fitty. I'm going to need about Tree Fitty. Hello, Countdown Louisville. Uh, Countdown Louisville, uh, escape room, Louisville, Kentucky. And uh, apparently you escaped because you're online. So let's see here. All right, all right. Everybody texting me tonight. Um, okay. So here we go. I'm going to do the blue thingies. So I've created a new layer, vector layer there. Uh, let me pick up that color, and then I'm going to make a darker version of that, kind of a bluer version. That looks pretty good. All right. So I get to just kind of be fun with this because there's not really a wrong way to do it as long as it looks kind of right. There, fill that in. So, how are you? Okay. You ever just suddenly forget everything you're doing? It's like, where am I? What am I doing? Okay. Now it's pretty flat so far. I think what you're going to find is uh, you can get a surprising amount of, of like dimension uh, out of even a flat vector drawing like this, uh, and that's going to because you're still we're still going to have shading and we're going to have like detail that's that's shading and highlight and that sort of thing. But it's you really got to get to this part first. You gotta you gotta get the get the um, uh, you know, the, the details, get the, just the general look of the character or the drawing or whatever it is out of the way first. Uh, and then you can absolutely go to town with, um, with, uh, all kinds of different effects to really bring it to life, to make it, to make it interesting looking. Okay. There we go. Right there, and a thing, okay, right there, sound effects help, you do what you gotta do, um, and I, I, there are so many artists that, that do that, I know they do, like, um, uh, that dark blue is a great color, thank you, yeah, it's pretty cool, it's, and it's all character design, man, um, uh, like, like no joke, the, the, the character in this for something that when she was introduced, I really thought I was just flat out going to hate, um, uh, so good, like really, really like shockingly good. And it's not surprising because I mean, this is, you know, this was done by one of the guys who's currently doing the, uh, the Mandalorian show, which is amazing. And to me, the very first thing I thought when I was watching Mandalorian is like, wow, this feels, it has like the tone of Clone Wars. So it's not, it's not surprising. Kind of doing my own thing here now. Making it a little more complicated um, in my drawing than it actually is on my reference here. Just because I kind of like it. I like how graphic it is. Tegrudas are cool. I'm 
and supposedly very good hunters. I'm a nerd. All right. Okay, now this is going to be a real trick here because I'm not sure how this is going to work. So I've done all that detail on, on that side, and I want to mirror it on the other side, but it's it's because those sides are not going to match up. Let's just see how it does. I mean, sometimes you just got to experiment. So I'm going to duplicate the layer, and we've been through all this before. Say, say it with me. Duplicate the layer. Then we're going to transform it. We're going to flip it, and we're done. There we go. No, wait. Hang on. Uh, and we're going to move this over here, and it's going to sort of give us a guide, but obviously we're still going to have to fit it. We're going to have to, like, correct it um, to where it, it sort of works. So that's that's going to take a little bit of work, but that's okay. It's actually super easy to do. Uh, I'm going to bring a Roland VT3 for you, uh, for you to vlog with. Oh, all right. Hey, I'll take free stuff. Thanks. Uh, because... I don't have no wealth. Okay, so let's see. Going to select select this business here. Whoops, deselect. Didn't get all of it. Select this business right there. And then transform. I'm going to move it over and get it a little bit closer to position. Okay, yeah, see what I'm going to have to do. So I'm going to stretch it out a little bit. I'm going to have to cheat it. It's okay. It'll still be uh, still be a pretty cool drawing. Have faith. All right. A little bit more. There we go. You will sound like Diablo. I don't know who Diablo is. I don't have a clue. All right. So, okay, deselect that and get rid of this business and this business up here. Well, that business right there. Okay, I'm going to clean this up a little bit because it's a little rough. How are we doing on time? 50. Holy cow, how'd that happen? Oh, Lord. Uh, I think we're going to go a little late. Um... Because I want to do this whole thing tonight. I think this is going to be... This has been fun. All right. Clean that up. Clean this up. Fill in there. Clean that up. And that. Whoop. And that. This, ah. Right there. Oh, ah, did it again. Okay. That looks like a Tegruda. All right, so... Whoops. Put a thing down there, didn't I? Whoops. Okay, so I think that, that turned out way better than I expected. Uh, and I kind of like that they're not perfectly symmet you know, symmetrical. Uh, symmetrical? Symmetrical? Because it looks like she's an actual person. You know, it's, it's you know, organic beings are, you got symmetry, but it's not perfect symmetry. That's what makes you interesting. Um, so we're going to merge that down. And uh, now I think it's okay to merge down all of those vector layers. Merge down and merge down because it's looking pretty good. Okay, now here is where we get interesting. Because now I can start adding in some details that are going to shade the character and make it sort of more, um, more dimensional. Well, you're going to see highlights and shadow and like areas that are sort of pushing in and out of the drawing. Refuel. Thank you. Um, so let's just jump right in, shall we? Uh, I'm going to add a layer. And I'm going to choose just black for now. Actually, you know, let me see. Is that the best way to do it? And again, it's uh, you, a lot of different ways you can do it. And every drawing you're going to do is going to be a slightly different approach. I think this time, yeah, I think it is going to be black. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to drop the opacity down. And uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to work on the eyes a little bit and sort of put a line under here. Or actually, let's put a line right there. And then over right about here. Like so. And here and there. Whoa. Then 
under. Okay, now again, these are the thinky bits, so if I get super quiet, it's only because I can't do more than one and a half thing at a time. Okay. All right. After you merge, can you demerge, unmerge? No, you cannot. Um, I mean, you can undo. I mean, you can undo anything you do, but only to a certain point. So, um, so if you merge something and then you want to unmerge it, you'd have to undo back to the point where uh, you merged it. Here's something that, that sort of helps out when you're drawing uh, when you're drawing eyeballs. When you're drawing somebody's eyes uh, and you're adding in some shade, um, a lot of people forget sort of that to really think about the eye as, you know, the eyes are so important as, as far as making a face look like a face, feel like something with eyeballs that's looking at you. Uh, and it's really easy to to sort of sort of forget that there's a whole lot of structure going on, like the the... The eye is the eyeball itself is actually sitting back behind the eyelid, obviously. So just giving a little bit of life underneath the eyelid, giving a little bit of shade, a little bit of shadow, you'll find you can immediately sort of sort of improve improve the the realism, the believability, the verisimilitude. That's one of my favorite ways of looking at it. Um, the internal uh, consistency of the image. So you can see what I'm doing here is I just add some shade to sort of the edges of the face. It kind of pulls the face out a little bit, makes it feel a little bit more round, a little bit more like an actual face. Okay. All right. Right there. Now again, I'm drawing a separate layer. It's just black. Um and uh, and I've dropped the opacity down so that so that I can think of it as shade. It's areas of shadow. You can see already it really starts to change. Really starts to change the the face, the quality of the drawing starts going way up after this. And this is the real strength of uh, drawing vector. You know what, I'm going to put a little bit of a line under here, too. A little bit right there. Happy trees. Happy trees, everybody. All right. And also her lips sort of show they've got some dimension. Thusly. All right. Not too shabby. Um so yeah, so highly recommend if you got if you got Disney Plus, uh stop what you're doing and uh whatever it is you're watching, whatever whatever junk you're you're watching in general, and just go and watch uh, the Clone Wars. And uh suffer through the the first season, the first few episodes of the first season. They're they're not the best. I'll just go ahead and straight up tell you. I mean they're they're all right. And what's funny is is they're not the best, but I guarantee you, after you, if you pass those up and you watch, um, like you know, especially the second season and on, uh, I can guarantee you, you'll go back and you'll watch the first season just because it's so good. You're gonna want more of the show. Um. All right. Let's see here. Okay. Now I'm gonna start to start to add some dimension to her uh, horns and montrel. And uh, now these are very round. Like these are these are like huge sort of um, it's uh, they're really bizarre sort of structure. And and it was the thing that I always really appreciated about Ahsoka is that they they really took a chance with this character. I mean, and they they kind of knew that it's like, well, I mean, this this could be, you know, not a very popular character because she's kind of an annoying brat in the first uh, in the first season. Um, 
and she's a weird alien. Like, are people going to relate to her because she's kind of strange looking? Um, but uh, so happy they took the chance because no joke, um, she is she is a seriously cool character, and um, I mean, if if uh, I, I don't get super excited about a lot of movies anymore, I think we're kind of I think we kind of need a break. But no joke, if they said that that they were doing like an Ahsoka Tano movie, I'm all in. Like that would immediately get my attention because that's the character that uh, not uh, and it's not just me. There's, that's the character a lot of people really want to see more of. I mean, if she shows up in the Mandalorian at some point, I will probably collapse. Oh, whoops. All right. Okay. It reminds me of 70s cartoon looking. Feel. Yeah, it's kind of got that, doesn't it? Yeah, it's kind of got, it's that, it's a little bit of that, um, that really sort of flat, but kind of realistic look. Whoop, I left a thing there. Okay. All right. How are we doing on time? We are passing one hour. That's okay. I don't mind on this one because this one, this one deserves the extra. It deserves the extra. Try not to make these too long. Um... I don't know about you guys, but I can only take so much of me. Okay, now here's where I'm going to use the shadow to really define the shape a little bit more. So you can sort of see how these horns and the mantrals sort of wrap around your head. So I'm going to bring that in. I'm going to do the same thing over here, right there. Boom. Okay. Whoa, whoops. I am terrible about forgetting to switch tools. There we go. Uh, hey, and since I haven't said yet, thanks you guys for uh, for coming and hanging out with me. Much obliged. There we go. Here's a thing. Maybe down like that. Okay, that... Ladies and gentlemen, looks like a Sokotano. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna sort of fill in so you get a little bit of a hint that wherever the light is coming from, which not quite sure, but it's sort of coming around your face a little bit. There we go. All right, so that is a Soka. Okay, now to make things a little bit more interesting, uh, I am going to add another layer, and I'm gonna also drop the opacity down on this. And I'm going to make this white because I want to highlight. I want to have some 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 areas that, you know, I've made um, made uh, areas of shadow. Now I need some areas that are slightly brighter. Maybe drop it down a little bit more. There we go. All right, right there and right here. And at this point, um. This is really kind of the artsy part. Uh, I don't really have a plan. This is where I'm just sort of seeing where it takes me. So a little bit right here, a little bit right there, a thing here, and a thing there, right there. Whoop. You don't want the shadow in the the highlight, excuse me, uh, to overlap. All right. A little bit here. Because the mantras are, like, shiny. They're kind of, um, kind of, a. Uh, I don't know if they're, like, chitinous or what they're made of. And maybe here I'll do kind of a kind of a highlight that runs down. Whoops, hang on, let me do that over. I was not thinking that through. Think, think, Butler, think. All right, right there. Okay, 
Uh, but actually, let's see what it looks like if I bring up the opacity a little bit. Yep, I dig it. Yep, I dig that. That is Jedi. Those highlight lines did a light for... Yeah, thanks, man. And I, I yeah, that's when it really starts to come together. And then, then you can start finding, finding even a little bit more detail. You can just take some time and go in here and sort of add these kinds of lines to just the detail of like her, her headdress thing. And that's going to that's going to kind of pull that out a little bit more. There we go. A little bit there and a little bit here. All right. Yeah, not bad. And actually, let's do sort of make her eyes a little more interesting. Anything that you can do to kind of pull that you can kind of pull the attention to the eyes. Thanks, Swifty. Thanks, man. Um Anything you can do to kind of to kind of give interest to the eyes, like it's uh, really like everything is all about the eyes. Like like whether you're drawing action in a comic book or you're doing something like this, it's all about where where are the eyes sort of leading. And um, uh, if you can if you can pull interest in, just give it a little bit more attention, a little bit more, um, a little bit more life. Then it's gonna, it's gonna do nothing but help. Let me see. Do I like that? Yeah, I do like that. Okay. All right. So let me see. Let's let's just take a moment here. Take a look at it. See what we think. Um. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do is because this is vector art, uh, I wanna add a, uh, I wanna add another layer up here on top and I'm going to start adding in some some darker sort of outlines and th this is really just you know this is one of those things that really sort of sets it apart from being like strictly like comic book because I, I want to pull out a real graphic quality like doing something like this for me is I kind of think of it like I'm making a sticker I'm making something that would look good as a sticker um, and uh, so in order to do that I'm going to I'm just going to go along here and I'm just going to thicken up the outside line. Because I like it and it works. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Jeez. I cannot even describe to you guys how badly I want to sneeze right now. But if I sneeze, I'm going to go like... <laughs> like I just did. Yeah. All right. There, right here's a thing, okay. And here is a line, and there's a line. Yeah, I keep hitting undo accidentally. Adobe, I have some ideas on that whole undo feature. Call me. Got thoughts. Holy cow. I look like five miles of bad road. All right. There we go. And up here. Yeah, this part's a little boring. Sorry. It's about to get not boring here in just a second, so bear with me. Can't all be Spider-Man. Here we are, and there's a thing, and coming down, and there we have it. All right, now you see what I'm saying? Like, it just, it's it pulls everything out, and that, that line around, that darker, thicker line, really pops the color out. Uh, it really makes it, makes it, it just gives it that strong graphic quality. It's the sort of thing you want to stick on the back of your laptop. Am I right? 
Uh, I don't have a laptop, but... If you'd like to buy me a MacBook, call me. Um, all right, let's, let's make some kind of background here. Some kind of something. All right, uh, let's see. This is the part I never really know what to do because it's all just kind of up for grabs. All right. It's not too badly. Let's see. It's a, what's a color here that might be sort of a soca ish Green? No. Ooh. Lunch tray. Terrible. It's not bad. Not bad. Okay, so I'm going to just kind of take stock here for a second. See what it looks like. Um, you know, I think this is done. So not bad, not bad. Oh, we got to do the important part. Hang on. This is the only important thing, otherwise I might forget I did it. Maybe I won't know who did this. So I will choose. Oh, whoa, that's way out of hand. True story. That's how Zorro used to used to do it. All right. Um, I'm just gonna. <laughs> there you go, and we're done. There we go, folks. Did a drawing. No, here we go. Drop that down, put that right about there. And because I don't want to be too arrogant, I'm going to decrease the opacity so it's just kind of barely there. And I still want to get it out of the way. A little bit more. There we go. How about, yeah, down there. All right. There we have it. Not bad. Not bad at all. I'm happy with it. Uh, may uh, do a couple of more things to it. There's always like even with vector, you can you can do things like add textures. Uh, you just have to be a little bit more judicial about how you want to add the textures, a little bit more precise about it. But it's it can really still make an excellent vector drawing to make little spots or put little you know dots or stuff in there. Uh, countdown, thank you, sir, and uh, Jason, thank you, sir. I very much appreciate it. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, I, I think this was a big win here. Vector Wednesdays, we're going to call this. So I think every Wednesday I'm going to try to do a vector drawing like this. Uh, something a little bit different than the usual sort of comic book art. Uh, you know, the, the lines and the inks and the superheroes. And I'm really I'm really liking the Star Wars thing. So maybe maybe Vector Wednesdays will be Vader Vector Wednesdays. Um... And uh, you'll you'll find this. I'll put the I'll put the final art uh, up on my Instagram, which is just at Isobon. Uh, so be uh, be looking for that. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah. Hey, that's not too bad. Uh, an hour and twelve minutes. Did a full vector drawing, um, and it's good to go. Uh, sticker ready, I might say. Uh, and again, I'm I am uh, I'm I'm probably going to put a shop up um, on my website when I get my website finished. Um, I'm probably going to put a shop up, and one of the things I'd kind of like to offer are stickers, custom stickers like this. Um, Molly, oh, thank you. Thank you, Molly. Very much appreciate it. Thanks for watching, Molly. Uh, glad you're here. Um, now it's late. Go to bed. Um, but uh, so, yeah. Uh, what? Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to try to do some stickers, I think, because uh, that sounds like a, like, a, like a cool thing. I would definitely put this on my... Uh, on my MacBook, when you guys buy me a MacBook. Um, I think that wraps it up for tonight. We're going to do another live stream course Friday, 7 o'clock, same bat time, same bat channel. And uh, if you would, do me a big favor and uh, uh, hit subscribe. And then hit the little bell button beside subscribe, and that will let you know uh, the next time I go live or the next time I post a video. And if you would hit the like button on the video, because that's a big thing with the algorithm. And I have like very few followers so far. I'm just getting started. I've been doing this a little bit more than a week now. Um, and, uh, and apparently likes matter. So if you would, uh, if you would hit that like, uh, I would appreciate it. Uh, and, um, share, share the video. It's going to be up. Uh, it'll, the recording of this is going to be up on, uh, up on, uh, the YouTubes. Uh, so that'll be uh, good to go. But thanks again so much, guys. It's been a blast. Uh, we're definitely going to be doing it again tomorrow. And incidentally, if you're not aware, I will upload. I always take this video, the video that it's we're you know it's live streaming, but it's also recording right now. 
and uh, I do a um, I do a uh, time lapse. So you can see this whole process that you just wasted an hour and 15 minutes of your life doing. Uh, and you can see it in about three minutes. Yeah. Um, but uh, that'll be up tomorrow morning, hopefully about 8 o'clock or so. This has been fun. It's been great. Uh, Ahsoka Tano, go watch Clone Wars because it is awesome. It's on Disney+. Plus. And uh, be talking to you guys soon. Hope everybody's had a great evening. Have a good rest of your week, and uh, peace out.